Have you ever heard an Asian woman screaming out, I'm an independent woman, I don't need a never. She never. No, because she's saying it in Mandarin. Have you ever heard her say she's independent and she don't need her man? That's what I said. Black women are the only people that celebrate not having a man. So let's say here's a word to y'all independent women. First and foremost, you got to understand the direction, the definition of independent. Independent means that you are celebrating the fact that there is nobody with you. Black women, you are celebrating the fact that you don't got a that you don't have a man, that you don't have a father, that you don't have a dad, that you don't have a husband, that you don't have a, some kind of male influence in your life. You're celebrating being alone. That's why we don't like our independent Why would I want to hold and celebrate you not being there? Then you get mad at us for not being there and call us dead people. First and foremost, the soundboard. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit's funny. Every five seconds, you don't got a father, you don't got the. He be cooking, y'all. Literally, char boiled your ass. <laughs> okay, let's be real and serious here. Guys, I totally understand where he's coming from. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I'm just so over toxic women in general. Like, I hate when I see so many women come on these apps and they project their BS on here. If you don't like men, that's fine. If you want to be independent, that's fine. Go somewhere else and do that. Nobody cares anymore. I'm so over the like, I hate men, I hate men thing, independent this, independent. It's like, dude, you guys talk about so much of like, pack it up 2024, pack it up with the relationship topics, all this stuff, podcast. Why don't you guys pack it up with the misandrous stuff? Give it a rest. I understand that you guys don't like men. I understand you guys can't stand men. But if you don't like something, why are you always running your mouth about it? So he's true. Like, he's literally truthful here. I don't understand how somebody doesn't like something and that's all they do is complain about it. Like, I can give you an example. I don't really care for the Kardashians. I don't have no animosity towards them, nothing. I just don't care for them. Do you see me making content about them all the time? No, because I don't care about them or their life. They live their life. I don't care for them. I don't see the hype about them. So when I see you guys every single time on these platforms, like, I'm independent. I could do this. I could do that. Who are you fooling? Who are you trying to convince? You or us? Because we don't care. We didn't ask. And a lot of you guys are going to go, oh, you're a pick me defending this and that. Going to be real honest here. I wouldn't have content if you guys wouldn't be quiet. Like if you guys just, shh, I would never have content. You know that, right? But because you guys are, con tu boca, I have a lot of content. And I'll always have a lot of content because I defend men. Of course, I still defend women when needed and stuff, of course, because I'm still a woman. But let's pack it up. I think that this conversation to me is getting really old and I'm so tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. It just shows me that you don't know how to grow as a person. Like for me, I've never in my life said I'm independent. I don't talk like that. One thing my grandma used to always say, and I was raised in a Hispanic household, Latina. Soy Latina, Mexican, Filipino. But anyway, my grandma always told me that you're self-sufficient. A lot of Hispanic women were raised to love and cater for our man and be traditional. So when I see these, I'm an independent boss, babe, and then those same women complain, I want a man right now. I need a man of this and that, pay the bills. You're not deserving of that. You do not deserve a man to pay your bills if you talk like this. And I feel like whatever you put into the world is what you're going to get. If I'm screaming, I don't need a man. If I'm screaming, F you guys, I'm independent, this and that. Why are you mad when men don't help you? Like there was a video maybe a couple of years back or whatever of that one girl. Her car broke down and all these men had passed by. And she was like, see, I'm independent, men, this and that. And I could see why, because none of you guys want to help us. Didn't you guys go online not a couple years ago or a couple years back saying, oh, we don't need men. We can do it ourselves. We're independent. All this crap. Now look what you guys did. That's why I don't understand why you guys even open your mouth. You should wait till you're healed. You're okay. You, you surpass all that negative stuff that you got going on inside. Get with God. Work out. Do whatever you got to do. And then come on platforms when you're healed and stuff. When you come on and project that crap and then have other people influenced by it. Look what happens. A lot of you women, and I'm going to say specifically black women, because when I made that video of uh, the girl that got hit in the head with the brick, supposedly, every single black woman kept telling me certain things. And then I, I'm an influencer and I influence all these people and all this stuff. What about y'all then? I can turn that right back to you. You don't think you're influencing all these young girls to think that independent is the best way to go? We all need somebody eventually. I think it's okay to be alone. I think it's okay to learn to be self-sufficient. But in the long run, being alone for the rest of your life is crazy. And most of the time, none of these women want that. And you can't sit here and say you want that because we see women 30, 40 crying and all that because they want a partner. And a lot of you guys talk about being lonely. So we, we see it, we hear it. 
So if you're talking about me being an influencer and influencing all these people, I don't influence men to be a uh, fuck women, don't care about women. I never talk like that. I always encourage men to be a good person, fix yourself so when you come across that woman, you can take care of her and provide for her. Y'all should be doing the same with your little uh, posse, whatever's running with you guys. Don't you think? Now, if you don't believe that men and women coexist, that's your belief. That's fine with me. But again, nobody needs to hear your independence talk all the time. Independent people do what? Things by themselves. So you should probably keep that to yourself. Don't post it. That's what independent is. Go over there. Do everything alone. Don't come on social media telling everybody you're independent. Make sure that goes all around and you, you act independent with everything in your life. That'll, that'll solve it. God bless you, ladies. Mwah. Te miro.